Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. This is cool. This is different. Hello everybody, Denobi2 here, and we are doing something special on this video. We are doing an unboxing of the new Wolfenstein 2 that was just released yesterday from Bethesda Software. And uh, I've never done this before, but uh, if you guys aren't aware of Wolfenstein uh, 2 deals with a alternate reality where uh, America lost World War II and the Nazis have taken over. Uh, the game takes place in 1961 and with that being said we are treated with a collector's edition that was released from Bethesda Software for, uh, for Xbox One and PlayStation 4 uh, in this I, I want to say beautiful collector's uh, set here. Uh, and uh, reason I decided to, to take the liberty and do kind of an unboxing review on this is because this particular collector set includes a 1-6 scale figure of the main hero or as the collector's edition here showcases Terror Billy uh, in this alternate reality of America that takes place in 1961 uh, if you purchased this action figure he would be seen as uh, Terror Billy an American he would be the villain uh, his character's name is B.J. Blacksowitz. Apologize if I butchered the name there. I find the packaging very cool, very attractive, just because it gives you that sense of feeling that if you did live in this alternate reality and you went to a toy store in this world, this is what the packaging would look like. This is uh, what the art would be used and, and so forth. And what's really cool about Bethesda software is that they even took the liberty to create a commercial, sort of a, a toy commercial, to kind of give you that, that sense of, of feeling and scope of what this product would have looked like, which is really cool. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's awesome, the fact that they, they took that extra effort there. Uh, pause the video here if you want to read the uh, description on, on this box here. And uh, I, I'm, I'm stoked about this. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy here opened up. Uh, again, the attention to detail on this box blows me away. Uh, the retail for this collector's edition, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, is $99. Keep in mind, though, that the game is sold for $60. Bucks. So for an additional $40, you get a lot of bang for your buck. And I, as a collector, I really, really enjoy that. Um, the the steel case there for that, that contains the game, that's really, really cool. I, I dig the whole artwork that they, uh, for, for the, uh, the characters of the game, Terra Billy, General Engel, I, I can't pronounce, Elite Hans, I can't pronounce some of these names, I prefer not to, to butcher it, but uh, again, this is this is really cool, this is really, really neat. For an additional, four, that's how I see it, for an additional $40, you get so much more. Uh, th that being said, I understand that it is, you know, overall 800 bucks for the collector's edition, but it, it, is, it is a cool experience. I always dig games that go the extra effort and the extra length. And the only other uh, collector's edition that went this far, I remember, was for um, Bioshock 2 that include the vinyl record. This is the survival guide here. This is one of the accessories you get here. Uh, kind of gives you more backstory into Terror Billy and, and how you would play with him and how he's the villain. I This is this is neat. I really I really like how they're building up the character uh, for the, the action figure. And then that's the poster. I wish they would have included the poster separately. I wish they would have included the survival guide and the poster as two separate items. Again, this whole cartoon here is based off of that promo that's as seen in this commercial here, right there. Kind of to uh, build more of, of, of this world, this world that, that they've really gone the extra link to, to, to create for us. I like that. I really, really do. I think that's really, really cool there. Again, uh, pause the video if you decide you want to read any of the uh, material on here. That's really, really neat. I will remove the instruction manual here in the disc just to kind of showcase the art because I, I really I, I really do like this artwork. This, this whole artwork of this alternate reality where the Nazis have taken over. Very, very neat. And, and again, the, the game just came out yesterday. I got to play it very cool I had a lot of fun I got to play the first chapter uh, in the uh, when GameStop had their convention here last month or so 
in uh, the first chapter you start off in a wheelchair which is which is a lot of fun the game is a lot of fun and I believe and you can correct me if I'm wrong does not have multiplayer uh, and believe there's reasoning behind that uh, they wanted to they didn't want to distract the uh, the players with that let's get to Terror Billy here this is really cool as as a hot toys collector I, I like this I like that that but that Bethesda took the liberty or the extra effort to create a one six scale figure and attach it to their game here this this bomber jacket by the way it's 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 a hard plastic vinyl which when I looked at it I was like oh it looks cheap but you know again you you have to look at it from the 1961 point of view this is where this figure does exist this is where in 1961 in this alternate America where you would buy this figure so once I you know once I put that in my head I'm like this is neat okay so it's not so much an into the detail it's more of the connection it's bringing you into this world uh, the uh, the weapons here not bad actually a lot more detail than what I was expecting very impressed I was actually pretty impressed by it by the uh, but by, by the actual weapons that uh, Terror Billy comes with I do like the jacket I do like the, the pleather jacket that Terror Billy gets it's really neat uh, my first impression holding Terror Billy is that it feels like a 1960s G.I. Joe and that's what makes it cool that's what makes it so unique and that's why I kinda enjoyed Terror Billy or, or BJ <laughs> I, I like it uh, even the sculpt and even the neckline that connects to his neck the uh, it has that G.I. Joe I have no idea why why he has nipples there uh, <laughs> If you were distracted by the nipples as I was, I, I, I had to point that out. But uh, <laughs> um, again, it's it's a very 1960s G.I. Joe, and I like that it was designed like that. Right down to the limited detail to the boots, to, to these simple rubber boots. This is, I mean, it's pretty much what you would expect from a G.I. Joe in this era. I like it. It's really, really nice. I even like that, that art print. Little devil cat in the back there. That's really nice. And, and if you're like me... Uh, and, and, and you play with your toys. Uh, I decided to do a little bit of action pose in here. This is cool. This is. <laughs> um, I never collected the 12 inch GI Joe, so uh, to me this feels very much like a 12 inch GI Joe from that era. So um, to me, that's what makes it special. That's what makes it really, really cool. Uh, <laughs> this is neat. I know. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I, I had to make him. I had to make him free fall there. The bomber jacket. I decided to uh, to put it on there, and and I wasn't impressed by it. I, I didn't like it. I it was hard to uh, to pose and articulate, and, and to me it just didn't feel like Terror Billy or or the character as 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 portrayed in the game. So uh, I, I I took it off. I didn't I didn't like it. I I didn't dig it at all. To me, the yellow leather jacket that he comes with is his trademark, and it, he he looks cool. Very very neat. Let's do a little recap here. You get the survival guy there. Uh, how to capture Terror Billy? You get the bomber jacket. You get the uh, the steel case game there, and uh, and you get Terror Billy here. And there's a side side chick, uh, wink wink. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why, for some reason, Black Widow just had to uh, tag team him. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you decided to get the collector's edition to Wolfenstein 2, the, the new Colossus. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below. Uh, and I'm going to go play the game because I I seem to spend more time on Xbox now, more than ever. <laughs> See ya.